is that you're not always going to be the most beautiful girl in every room and you start to realize that but you can always be the most attractive and it has taken me 32 years to realize that beauty and attraction are not the same thing at all like you can see someone who is stunningly beautiful but there's just something about them you can't put your finger on it that's not attractive here are the things i have figured out that will make you instantly attractive to everyone around you number one stop worrying about your weight people can literally smell it the moment you do your entire vibration is going to go down you're just not going to be as attractive you just have to rock your body live your life eat healthy foods feel good the second thing is draw attention to anything about you any physical characteristic that is unique because people are going to notice it but if you bring attention to it it's going to make you seem confident now here's an example i have always had really big ears i used to get super made fun of it and then one day i was like you know what i'm going to put like 11 piercings on my ears and just make them this like beautiful thing there's nothing i can do about it i don't want to get them pinned back so like why don't i just turn them into a work of art people stop me every single day on the street and they're like oh my god your ears are so cool your piercings i'm like thank you very much anyway people are going to notice those things that are a little bit different about you but if you bring attention to them and you rock them you're going to be looking good also even if you don't feel confident every day you can fake it by smiling pull your shoulders down and back and stand with your head up it's going to make a huge difference the next thing you might think is crazy but i'm telling you it works are pheromone perfumes i didn't believe it for a long time until i finally got one by the way this is like 40 dollars on amazon i was worried they were going to smell cheap or just like not work first of all they almost have no scent at all but they literally attract everyone around you like you can be in the grocery store and someone will stop you and say you smell so good but the thing is this doesn't really smell very strong it does something to your skin and it actually works it's completely insane last but not least as i sit down with my watermelon is to cook your own food i'm telling you it's going to make such a big difference especially when your gut is happy your mind is happy there's a huge connection there and take your probiotics it's going to make a big difference but yeah hydrating foods foods high in oil are going to make a big difference for your skin your brain everything i really hope this video was helpful let me know if you have any questions and follow for more listen up if you want or you need to be the most attractive woman in the room here's what you're gonna do Number one, you wear white. Either it's a dress or a top. The next, you take either crystals or you take diamonds, whatever you can afford. Most important, it can be white gold as long as it has crystals all around it and it looks pure, but not too much. Just try to go with one accent. Either those are earrings, then skip the necklace. If it's necklace, then maybe a small earrings or no earrings or just a bracelet. So basically, this is the bride effect. You know how in wedding nobody can outshine the bride and nobody's wearing white? Because white is that color that literally draws the most beautiful light on a person. It just gives you that angelic look that a red dress or a black dress could never do. Because you are going to be so magnetic and everyone's going to wonder what you've got going on. Now, this is one of my best tips that I started implementing, I want to say about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, and I noticed it changed everything completely when it came to social situations, when it came to my relationships, friendships, my business connections, especially completely changes to how the world reacts to you you want to appear classy and feminine and confident and just really attractive to other people what I encourage you to start doing is to never let people see your composure drop what I mean is that when you're out and about and you're doing your thing I want you to stay in your own pleasant and warm energy other people's opinions emotions emotional reactions they simply just don't really affect you that much now I'm not saying that you can't react appropriately to some things however you are the one that always has the power over your own reactions and emotions to people. When people see that you're somewhat unfazed by either the drama, the gossip, anything that might be negative that's going on around you, they will number one, realize that they don't have power over what you think, how you react, how you behave. But as well, my love, this is a direct indicator that you have your own beautiful life and that your life is so rich and so full of love, of fun, of pleasantries, that you are so content to be yourself and to live in your own little bubble that other people don't have the power to bother you, to affect you negatively in that way. A really good way to do this is to focus on your breath long slow breaths when you're out with others unclenching your back teeth unclenching your jaw softening your shoulders so first we physically try to calm our bodies to send signals to our brains that we are safe we are deactivating the fight or flight response so that you're able to appear calm cool collected and you don't care to have these large emotional outbursts in public first of all really what's the need for them and 
I'm not saying that you can't have fun, you can't laugh, you can't dance and enjoy yourself. I simply just want all this love and positivity to be coming from you and not to let anyone else's negativity seep into your beautiful and divine self. You are the one in control of your emotions, of your experience in life, and we always choose to have a beautiful one. As always, sending all my light and love to you. And let me tell you how to instantly be attractive. Instantly, with feminine energy. A lot of people don't speak about this one, but it's the biggest point. If you don't have playful energy to you, if you don't take things too seriously, you will become irreplaceable. You will become irreplaceable because of this fact. Everyone's really bothered about everything in their life. Everyone takes everything really, really seriously. If you can deploy playfulness, not taking things they say so seriously, even when they say something that you want to question, like, oh, something, something, me and my guys saw some girl. Don't question it. Take things super lightly for a while. Try and practice this for a month because it's not only good for your relationship and for their attraction to you, but it's also good for your own mental state. Deploy some detachment from other people's view of you and in general, other people's realities. Other people's realities cannot change you. What they somehow think in their head does not hold so much weight. You detaching from other people's opinions or ideas will mean that you have so much more space to create your own reality. And while you're doing that, you will literally become a magnet, especially to men. They will be like, why is she not bothered? Why is she so in her truth? Why can I not affect her with things I say and my energy? Of course, you're not going to accept abuse as soon as you feel he is not doing right by you. You're going to bounce because you've got strong boundaries. But detach from always asking him what he's thinking, what he's feeling, how he sees you. Playfulness. Lightness. Elevate. One of the best things you can do for yourself is to simply just trust more in your bigger picture. Like any time anything bad happens in your life, you lose friends, you go through a breakup, you lose a job, you get rejected... It's all happening in my favor. It's all part of how my life is supposed to unfold in the most magical way possible. Because I am deserving of having a great life and I am gonna have a great life. You just have to believe and know that everything is working out in your best interest at all times. When you lose that group of friends, it's because if they stayed in your life, you wouldn't get to the heights that you want to reach. You went through that breakup to get one step closer to your real soulmate. You got rejected from that job, not because you're dumb, not because you're unworthy, not because you're meant to fail in life, because something bigger is in store for you. Not only will this grant you so much more peace and happiness to live with on a daily basis, but it's going to do wonders for your manifestations as well.